In this video, we're going to take a look at how to graph horizontal and vertical lines. The, the equations for a horizontal and vertical line are a little different than your standard linear equation. Uh, for example, if you're looking at the equation for a horizontal line, it'll be y equals some constant. And what's unusual about that is that it doesn't have an x value. So if you have a linear equation that doesn't have an x, then it'll be a horizontal line. And the reason that's the case is that the y value doesn't depend on the x coordinate that you're at. Like for instance, if the y value was five, then it's five for the y regardless of what x value you're at. Zero, five, one, five, two, five, three, five, four, five, five, five. It's anything five, anything comma five. So that's why it's y equals just whatever that constant is, and then x can be whatever it wants, but the y value is gonna be five. And on the other hand, we can write the equation of a vertical line as x equals a constant. We'll say x equals a. And so for this one, the x value is a regardless of what the y value is. So let's say this has an x value of negative four, then it will go through negative four zero and negative four one and negative four two and negative four three, et cetera. So re regardless of whatever the y coordinate is, the x coordinate will be negative four, for example. So just remember, just try to commit this to memory. Horizontal lines are y equals a constant. Vertical lines are x equals a constant. And, and uh, just, just be aware, a lot of students struggle with this they easily confuse horizontal lines with x equals and vertical lines with y equals. And so just make sure you keep it straight that a horizontal line is y equals a constant and a vertical line is x equals a constant. Now, how can you remember that? Well, well just, you know, if you th just think about it, if you have, let's say like y equals seven, then the, the way I think about this in my head is if I wrote down just a couple points this would demand that the y value was seven because it says y equals seven. And so no matter what the x is, the y will be seven. So if you had one, seven, two, seven, and three, seven, for example, just think in your mind, where, where is that on a graph? One, seven, and then two, seven, and then three, seven, they all have the same height. So this would be a horizontal line. And sure enough, it's y equals a constant. So let, let's close out this video with just a couple examples. So let's say we're asked to graph x equals three. So x equals three, we're gonna think about it, and hopefully we just remember that this is a vertical line being that it's x equals a constant, but let's say we forgot. Then, then the way you could logically think this out is, okay, x is three, so it goes through three, one, three comma two, three comma three, well, being that the x coordinate is always one, two, three, then that's gonna be a vertical line because the x coordinate is always three. So this would be a vertical line and this would be its graph. Right, on the other hand, let's look at this one, y equals negative four. And let's suppose that we're asked to graph this linear equation. I notice it doesn't have an x, which means it's either horizontal or vertical, we're not really sure because it's y equals negative four, it's gonna be horizontal. If you didn't just remember that, just out of, out, of, out of the two forms, if you forgot which was which, then just think about it. It says that the y value was negative one, two, three, here's negative four, and the y value will, will be negative four for any x. So zero, negative four, one, negative four, two, negative four, three, negative four, et cetera. So this is gonna create uh, a horizontal line, if I can draw a horizontal line. Okay, it's not the straightest line ever, but uh, yeah, a horizontal line at y equals negative four. So anyways, that's how we graph horizontal and vertical lines.